Hello there, I am Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and I am going to try and help you alleviate your questions and concerns about DFU and recovery mode. Not only what they're about, but also how to get in and out of both systems. Now, first of all, I am doing this on a Macintosh, however, the same story applies on Windows, so don't fear, uh, everything is the same. First of all, DFU and recovery mode are actually quite different, and it's not really something that's commonly known, and there's not really an explanation that's easily found as to what the difference is and why you use one over the other. Now, recovery mode is what is your iDevice, whether it be an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad. That's what it goes into when it goes undergoes a standard Apple update. So when you update your phone from, for example, from 4.2.1 to 4.3, that undergoes recovery mode. Now, you don't see that aspect of it because it's all done fluidly, but it's undergoing, it's going into recovery mode. The new firmware is loaded on there and then your original is backed up or uh, restored onto the device. Now, DFU mode is quite different. DFU mode essentially tells iTunes, do this upgrade, don't look at what's on there, restore it, and call it good. So when you do recovery mode, and you'll find this with the Spirit jailbreak, with the Lime Rain jailbreak, uh, with the Green Poison jailbreak, and a lot of the newer jailbreaks, they don't, they don't get rid of your original stuff. They don't wipe all this stuff out. And that's because it's simply adding something onto the firmware. It's essentially sending a new .ipsw file onto your device. Now with DFU mode, which you'll find in Pwnage Tool, QuickPone, and some of the older jailbreak tools, and some of the more advanced jailbreak tools, that actually loads a new firmware onto your device. So you don't really have the option uh, that you do on recovery mode to keep your data. It kind of wipes all of it. So that's not really what we're here to talk about. I'm going to teach you how to get in and out of both of them. Whether it be a standard upgrade, a standard restore, uh, or whether you're doing something with jailbreaking and you come into a tool that asks for recovery versus DFU, sometimes it's hard to enter and sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to show you uh, kind of the art and how to perfect it. So first, we're going to talk about recovery mode. Uh, if you want to talk about DFU mode, click the annotation in the top right hand corner and it will jump to that portion of this video. But for recovery mode, it's actually very simple and this is the easy one to get into. So first of all, you need to have iTunes open and you need to ensure that your device is selected under the iTunes section. Okay. Now what you are going to do is take your device and you're gonna make sure it's on the home screen and make sure it's plugged into your computer. So it needs to be plugged into the phone, the USB cord that is, and then the USB cord plugged into iTunes with iTunes open and iTunes recognizing that your device is there. What you need to do and what we're going to do, and uh, you'll want to uh, make sure you're following this, is we are going to hold the home button and the sleep-wake button simultaneously until we see the screen go black. Once we see the screen go black, we're going to let go of the power button and hold the home button. So just follow along. Watch this first and then try it again for the second time. So we're going to hold the, both the home button and the power button until the screen goes off. Oh, we just entered voice control. Sorry. Here we go. So hold both of them until your iPhone uh, turns off. Once it turns off, which is right now, let go of the power button. Keep holding the home button. You'll see that the Apple logo is there. Keep holding the home button, do not let go. And you will notice in just a minute here, the iTunes pops up saying we've detected a device in recovery mode and your iPhone will display the USB to iTunes button. Now this is still in recovery mode and the difference between recovery mode and DFU mode, once again, is this is able to accept a firmware update. You cannot downgrade using recovery mode. You need to be in DFU mode. Nonetheless, we are going to get our iPhone out of recovery mode and back into the normal iOS environment. You don't have to restore if you don't want to or that you entered it by accident. You can get out of it just fine. All you need to do, once again, we're gonna do the same exact process, although reverse. So we're gonna hold the home button and the power button simultaneously. When the screen goes black, we're gonna let go of both buttons really quickly, and then we're going to repress the power button. So here we go. Hold both buttons, wait for the screen to go black, let go of both of them and then hold the power button once again. You'll notice that the app logo pops up and now you're good to go. You don't have to hold the power button anymore. In a couple seconds, and mine will take a little bit longer because it's jailbroken, uh, you'll enter the normal iOS environment. Now it should take a little bit longer to boot than usual because you're doing essentially a 
a excuse me, a forced reboot. Now a forced reboot just kind of clears the environment and the cache in your device. It gets rid of all that other stuff that's pertained uh, while you do just a regular turn off. So it's gonna take about two to three, sometimes even four to five times longer to boot up. Once you've booted up though, everything will be restored. You'll be perfectly good to go. And now I'll show you how to get into DFU mode once we're back into this environment. So a common misconception about DFU mode is that you cannot exit it. And that's actually false. You can, it's a little bit weird, and DFU mode is a little bit trickier to get into. But once you're in, it's not that tough. And uh, once my phone is booted up, I will show you how to do that. Just a quick overview of how DFU works and how it will go down. It starts the same as recovery mode. We're gonna hold the power and the home button. But instead of just holding it until the Apple logo goes or turns on or until the screen turns off, we are going to wait for 10 seconds. 10 Mississippi, uh, we will count through that. Once those 10 seconds are up, once we've counted to 10 Mississippi, we're gonna do the same thing. Release the power button and continue to hold the home button. Hold the home button prominently until the screen goes black and it pops up in iTunes. Now DFU mode is a device firmware update, which means it essentially just puts the phone into this little hibernate uh, firmware acceptance mode and there's no real OS that boots up. So the screen will remain black, but it will pop up in iTunes. So I will show you this in just a minute. Now that we're in our environment and uh, we are connected to iTunes, we're ready to enter DFU mode. So like I said, power and home button for 10 Mississippi. On your marks, get set, go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Let go of the home button and, excuse me, let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And now iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Now it says it's detected an iPhone in recovery quote unquote recovery mode, but it is actually in DFU. You know this because the screen on your iDevice is black. It doesn't display the plug into iTunes button. Now, this is where most people say, well, you have to restore. Once you're in DFU, you cannot get out of it. And again, that's incredibly false. All you have to do to get out of DFU is, like I said before, exactly the opposite. So we're gonna hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, Five Mississippi, got to slow down a little Mississippi. Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Let go of the home button, but continue to hold the power button. You'll notice that the Apple logo pops up and you're good to go. You're out of DFU and you're back into your normal iOS environment. So for whatever it may be, jailbreaking tools or just regular uh, software updates you're experiencing issues with, this will teach you how to get in and out of device firmware update as well as recovery mode. Hopefully it was of some use and some uh, help to you. If it was, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions about jailbreaking or what be it, leave it in the comments below and I will try my very darndest to help answer those questions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.